Let's start off and talk about how big of an undertaking this was to plan the process out and to get it to where there's this visual uh, finish line that you guys are getting to. Well, you're going back years now because uh, you know, we started designing this even before the bond was passed so that we knew what we would be asking for in the bond and we had IDS, the design group in here, Auk Construction, administration from the district, um, hours and hours of meetings planning this. Um, and then once the bond passed and construction starts, I think we're two years since we broke ground over here, um, and to see it coming together, this is just incredible. I was able to watch the time lapse, and it was the coolest thing ever to see just inch by inch kind of going up to now see it, and you know what it looked like before. Right. How right. cool is that? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, this is, we've been playing on fields that were 50 years old. Um, and so I think a part of the design process was making sure that we're building something that we can use for the next 50 years. It's been a little bit of a stressor for our coaches and athletes uh, this past uh, couple of years with one slab of turf over there. Um, but now that we've got the stadium portion open for our athletes, uh, it's just a huge game changer for us. The reveal process with coaches, with staff, and especially for the players, seeing their reaction, what has it been like? They're in awe when they come out there. I mean, I, I can't thank our community enough for what they've provided for our student athletes. And as I said, you know, they're used to playing on, on fields and stadiums that are 50 years old. And while our grounds crew and department has done a fantastic job maintaining that playing surface, you know, outside of the playing surface, things were getting old and didn't look quite so, you know, good. And so then you come over here and you have this. Uh, you know, I think they finally have facilities that match their commitment um, to their craft. Right when you walk in, as you see this, kind of describe the design and what went into it. So Joe Butts is one of our teachers and he created this and clearly he's a phenomenal artist. Uh, this bobcat is made from parts, um, you know, you got some spoons in there, you got drill bits, saw blades, um, spark plugs in the, in the paw. Every time you look at it, you find something more in the detail. It's just absolutely incredible what he created here. There was a big reason for getting a lot of these renovations when you talk about maintenance, a lot of money was spent, but a lot of money is going to be saved. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you're, you're talking a uh, big saving over the year in paint and maintenance of the field and repairing the field. Uh, the last couple years uh, on the Frank, our old football stadium there, we'd play football three levels in the fall. So you got games every week. Sometimes the middle schools would come over and use it for their East versus West game. But then in the spring, you got JV and varsity boys lacrosse and girls lacrosse that we're also using it and there's just no time for that field to you know recover and so now with two slabs of turf we won't have that issue anymore one of the things that really stands out is the double decker stadium stands um again seeing it now when yeah. we you know we saw the sketches and we saw what it would look like i mean how how amazing is this something that rivals college stadiums now right right well, and, and I was lucky enough to be in the design process, and you see all the drawings, but it doesn't prepare you for what actually is here. Uh, this is impressive, 5,000 seats on the home side, another 1,000 over here on the visitor side. And then you have the natatorium right over there. Still some work being done in there, but what kind of amenities are going to be available to these players that are going to be some world-class stuff? Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a large pool. Um, if you're going width-wise, I think we can get 15 lanes, but it's going to have a floating bulkhead, so for competitions, we'll use eight lanes. Basically, the amenities for the pool get shared with the stadium. So if we have uh, a pool event going on, there's a concession stand on the main level um, that they, they would use, but that also has windows along with the restrooms on both sides have uh, doors that would allow you to also use them for stadium events. So you could, on a Thursday, have a, a freshman in JV uh, football contests going on. You could also have something going on in the pool and there's plenty of space for restrooms, concessions, uh, and options for, for anyone that's coming here. By default, everyone is going to be excited for the fall sports season all throughout the summer. Yeah. Adding this to it, everyone's almost going to be a little extra, extra antsy about getting it started. Where do you kind of, how have you seen maybe the last few weeks of the school year and the buzz and the talk within the building of the kids being like, how about we just rush through summer yeah. and get to the fall so we can experience this? Yeah, they, they've, they've been chomping uh, to get out here. Absolutely. Um, and, and I think, you know, one of the things I keep stressing to our, our coaches and our kids is this community has been incredibly supportive of, of our athletic department. Um, they're com 
incredibly supportive of the school district as a whole, but they just made a major investment. And to me, with that comes higher expectations. And the kids understand that and the coaches understand that. And so I, I think it's helping us to elevate our, our work ethic and elevate our game to come out here. And, you know, we want the inaugural season for all sports to be one of the best we've ever had. So uh, they understand that and they're ready to get after it.